Okay, so we have 342 here, and we have a setup where uh, we know that this block of D is 10 pounds. We know that the total length of this cable or this cord is four feet. And we're trying to find what is the weight of B here, okay? Well, so we better go through some of the geometry first and figure that out. So if, if the full cord length is one point or uh, four feet, then we have the, uh, the remaining cord length here, right, is four minus 1.5. So four minus 1.5. So that's 2.5. So this total cord length of this part is 2.5, which means that over here, this is 1.25 feet, and this is 1.25 feet, all right? And that adds up to four if we add up the total length of the cord. Now, the next thing we need to know is kind of the angle here. So we need to know the angle. So let's break this uh, geometry into uh, triangles here. All right, so from here up. Okay, so we know that this is a right angle here and this part should be 0.5. 0.5 feet if this total length is one here. All right, and what we're trying to find is we wanna know this angle here and we'll call that theta. All right, so let's proceed to our analysis. So if we just draw that triangle, we have 0.5 and then this is 1.25 over here and we're trying to find theta. So if, if we know that the sine of the angle, theta, is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, which is 0.5 over 1.25, we can then use the inverse sine there, and we find out theta is equal to 23.58 degrees. Okay. So how's that help us? Well, we're gonna draw a free body diagram at B now. So let's draw a free body diagram at B. Um, so we have the pulley here, and we have the weight of the block B downward. And then we have the tension here of the two pieces of cable that are pulling up, okay? And do we know the tension on that cable? Well, yeah, we do, because the tension's not going to change as it goes around any pulleys here. And we know that pulling down here is 10 pounds, so the cable tension, if this is static equilibrium, must be 10 pounds. So we have 10 pounds here and 10 pounds here. And then we also know what this angle is, theta of 23.58. So let's sum the forces in the y direction and set those equal to zero. So downward, we have WB, that's the mass of the block B that we're trying to find. And uh, upward, we have two times the 10 pounds, but it's just a component of that 10 pounds. So it's cosine of that angle, 23.58 degrees equals zero. And the two is here because we have two forces and they're both the same, right? Because of, of symmetry here. And we find out the weight of block B comes out to be 18.3 pounds. 18.3 pounds. And that is our answer for 342.